Remember to comment below if you want more videos about one specific topic and do single quote he forget to subscribe to the channel. What to say to your partner if you think they are being unfaithful to you this is not a conversation anyone ever wants to have, but studies show that 50 of marriages end in divorce, and 30 of divorces result from infidelity. Planning for this worst case scenario can actually strengthen yourself and your relationship as you own your feelings and set your boundaries. Expressing feelings It is important to express feelings honestly in this situation, but you also need to show some wisdom and common sense. A couple of late nights in the office does not necessarily mean an affair, but if the pattern persists for more than a month, it's time for the talk. But it doesn't have to be an outright accusation. Instead, fact find. Ask about why they are so busy at work. If you are not happy with the answers, preface what you say next with the sentence, you know how much I value our relationship. Then address what is on your mind. Is there anything I need to know? Or how can we work together to so we don't lose the togetherness we have? These are open-ended enough for the person to feel safe about expressing their own feelings. If they are going to fess up, you've opened the door in a non-hostile manner. Don't accuse or blame a lot of partners use the formula, you did this on purpose. Or, you make me feel like that. The trouble is, actions are open to interpretation. What may seem designed to hurt you was probably no more than thoughtlessness. And no one can make you feel anything. You need to sort your feelings based on the reality of each situation. Using the example above again, you might say, that's the third time this week you've come home after 9 p.m. Is there anything you want to tell me? You could also say, I know your career is important to you, but when you come home so late, I fear we don't have enough time to really be close to each other. I need to feel close if we are going to be emotionally and physically intimate. Is this something we can work on together? Focus on teamwork for better or worse, they are the person you fell in love with. It would be foolish to throw it all away through unfounded accusations or out of control anger. Part of the reason people drift into affairs is because they do not feel understood or appreciated at home. Be sure your partner knows you value them and they are not being taken for granted, and expect the same respect in return. If you don't feel you are getting any respect, you could say something like, I feel worried that we suddenly seem to be drifting apart. I know you're busy, but I really value our time together. Is there some way we can work on this together so we can get things back in balance? Tell them what you want your partner is not a mind reader, nor are you. If you want something, you need to state it. You should have had a commitment infidelity conversation long before this point. If you're married, then it is included in the vows. But it is up to both partners to agree on boundaries, and most people would feel most secure in a committed, monogamous relationship. If you think the other person is slipping, you could say something like, we've already agreed that commitment and fidelity are essential in the relationship, and I'm 100 committed to you. I feel that you might not be to me because of A, B. See give a couple of specific examples. Is there anything you want to talk about? Infidelity is never an easy thing to discuss, but these suggestions can help make it easier to find out what if anything is really going on.